if you are one of those people who tell me that school is better in summer, f fight me. Hey guys, we meet again. Yada, yada, yada. I get to the story, Frederick. So today is Friday, and I just finished my week of school, which means I have a story time for you. I always say this if you know me just a little bit, even on the internet, you know that somehow I have the worst luck with the first days of school. Maybe I got cursed, there's bad luck in my family. God decides to smite me on that exact day because that's just the bad day of my year. I don't know, I don't know, but it gives me another video. But something even crazier happened the day before school, which I think is crazy. Now, my school requires that you have a meningitis vaccine or something like that, and my dad knew that. Except, for some reason, when you move, insurance takes years to get to you. So my dad said, let's just wait for an insurance card to come, it's gonna be fine. And note that he said this a month ago. And if I don't get this vaccine, I can't go to school. Fast forward, now it's one week before school. Dad, hurry up, we can't be last minute, this stuff is important, can we please get the shot now? No, no, don't worry, the insurance card will come in two days. Fast forward to the day before school. Dad, the insurance card isn't coming. It's okay, we'll go to the Minute Clinic. And if you don't know what that is, it's CVS's, like, walk-in clinic or something. Basically, you have to wait a long time. So, CVS closes at 7.30 here, and the clinic has to close at 7. And it is currently 6 o'clock, and we are still at our house. Now, my mom finally realizes that if I don't get this shot today, I'm not going to be able to go to school. Now, when we get to the clinic, it's like 6.15 now, so I have 45 minutes to get inside. And there's a little sign-up machine where you just put in your stuff, put in your information, put in your credit card. 10 people. I swear to you, there were 10 people in line. And the wait time was 2 hours. Oh, okay. No more school. I'm good. This is what you get for going last minute, Dad. No, no, don't worry. The insurance card will come in two days. But my dad said, No, you are going to school tomorrow. So he decides to barge into the clinic room while there's patients in there. And I know it's not like illegal or anything, but it's rude. He could have just waited for that patient to be done. So they're talking about stuff that I don't understand. It's just like jargon to me. And basically the sign-up machine is broken, you can't sign it at all, and there's actually two patients. But I still have to wait for those two patients to end. So now I just have to be lucky enough to get inside before 7 o'clock, and it's 6.30. And there's two patients. Fast forward 29 minutes, because that's our luck. I'm not making this up, I swear, it was 29 minutes. Mr. Chen, yeah, please come in. I go inside, we don't have insurance, so you have to pay extra, but they can reimburse it, blah blah blah, jargon. But since we didn't sign up a week before, which I don't know why we wouldn't, the nurse doesn't know if there are any more vaccinations for men... The nurse doesn't know if there's any more meningitis vaccinations. And I'm not lying, I shit you not. One vaccine left. One. One. So this whole time, it was just an on and off situation where I didn't know if I'd be able to go to school and it's just constantly confusing my emotions. And I'm lucky enough to get the last shot. The day before school. And everyone knows that the day after you get a shot, you feel like crap. Your arms don't work, they don't feel like moving. That was me. And I got it right here. Wait, you, you can't see. So that was an adventurous trip. Now let's head to the first day of school. Now my mom told me to take the bus here. Be now my mom, now I decided, to, now I, <clears throat> oh my God. Now I decided to take the bus to school. And in hindsight, I regret that. And they told me which like intersection it's gonna stop at. So I'm walking outside, I see people there. The kids are with the parents. So I'm like, all right, this is the bus stop. It's supposed to come at 7.08 and now it's 7.16. The bus comes, opens the door, the kids go in, I go in, I ask, is this going to the high school? They said, no, it's going to the middle school. So my high school bus doesn't stop at an intersection, it stops on the middle of the road, like a block down. So I missed the bus. Luckily though, my mom was still home, so I got to school, almost late. And that school is a maze. You have A, B, C, D, F, E, F, G, H, I, I think that's it. There are that many intersections, and I have the map, and I have the schedule, and I'm just trying to find my way through. I'm like the rat who wants to find the cheese while I'm inside a maze. Now school technically starts at 7.35, and it's like 7.30, so I really don't have time. But luckily, I get into the class, and I'm sitting with really tall people. I think you know where this is going. I am not in the right class. These are juniors. I skipped homeroom, which means they counted me for absent, which means I am technically not at school. Alright, that's two strikes already. Luckily though, I find friends, and they're watching me, hi, hi there, and I guess the rest of my day was just normal. I mean, I wouldn't consider it normal because I was rushing through everywhere, but that's my first day of school. You're welcome. I hope you had a laugh. And if you laughed, 
give this video a like. And if you liked, leave a comment down below about your first day of school. I want to know. I know your age. I know that there are 13 year olds watching you right now, so tell me your first day of school. And so, what the f***? And subscribe because I post videos every Sunday, Saturday. Help. I love you guys and everything is less than three. And now I have homework to do.